does wearing a device on the forehead or temple have any proven neurological benefit? The there has been a lot of buzz about this device, but mm. the technology behind the device has not yet been revealed. And uh, later on, uh, the founder himself said that this is still at a research stage. So we, I don't think he is marketing it at the moment. Mm. But yes, is it doable? Yes, it is doable today. A uh, human race has technology where you can see the blood flow with a small device, which like the one which is shown in that image. Uh, and why temple? Because temple of is that part of the skull, which is where the bone is thinnest. It is the thinnest area of the brain, uh, of the skull. So it is easier for the light to penetrate that area. And there is a technology uh, which is known as FNIRS, which is functional near infrared uh, spectrometry, which is also used uh, in pulse oximeter. The simple pulse oximeter uses the same technology. Dr. These Devedi, are the so, so are you telling us and clear this again for us uh, and this, try and tell us whether if you, for instance, put this device on one part of your head, can it or is it capable of? Science may have not proven it still. Is it capable of detecting the blood flow overall across your brain? So it only tells you the blood flow of the outer, the cortex, the okay. cortex of the brain, not the mm. deep seated areas. Mm. But the cortex where the grey matter lies is the functional area of the brain where all the processing takes place. So the cortex blood flow can be detected with this wearable device and such devices as I am again reiterating is being used for doing research in stroke, in neuro rehabilitation, in dementia etc all over the world and also to create robotic assist for people who are disabled.